Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'd like to give you all some advice on what Linux is sure to pick first as a beginner. Now, when I started using Linux about two years ago, I was actually, <clears throat> to be honest, I was quite like afraid that Linux wouldn't work with my hardware and that drivers wouldn't work or something like that. Turns out that is absolutely not the case. So the first Linux distro that I picked was Pop! OS and not Ubuntu. And let me tell you why. First of all, Pop! OS just had an amazing design at the time. I, this was before GNOME 40 and so the GTK themes that you could pick and use for GNOME and basically all the customization features, they were just amazing. So you could customize GNOME to look exactly as you wanted without having to jump through hoops using libadwaita and whatever else they've got going on in GNOME these days. So yeah, the first distro I chose was Pop! OS because of that. And also, it had the tiling feature, <clears throat> which I didn't realize at first, but then it was something that I got to know later. And that was my first gateway into using something like tiling window managers. So right now I'm using Hyperland over here. So what basically brought about my usage of tiling window managers was pop shell. It showed me that you can actually be so much more efficient and just more productive when you can use keyboard shortcuts to navigate around your environment instead of clicking on things everywhere. And another reason as to why I chose Pop! OS, this I got to know later and it's because of snaps. So snap packages are basically packages that you can install on any Linux distro regardless of, yeah, any Linux distro. So these packages are definitely more bloated and they have less, uh, what do you call that? Basically, they're just more bloated compared to a native alternative of a given app. Like for example, Spotify. If you look for Spotify on the AOR over here, then yep, you'll find one over here. AOR Spotify. Now this, the AOR version of Spotify is like handcrafted specifically for Arch Linux. Now, if you go to snapcraft.io, I think the website is snapcraft.io. So if you go to their website, uh, yeah, let's just, okay, fine. Yeah. So if you look for Spotify over here, you'll find it. You'll find it. This is the official version of Spotify and you can install it and use it on any distro that you want. But the thing is, you're going to have to install Snap for that. Uh, okay, can't quite find it here, but yeah, look, this, this, this. Snap D, service and tools for management of Snap packages. So you'll have to install that and much more just framework stuff. And I really don't see the point of that. Like instead of using Snap packages, you could just use something like or even flat packs even just anything but snap packages that's another reason why i didn't choose ubuntu and right now i'm running arch linux so as you can see over here i use arch by the way yeah and this arch linux okay so i think it was like uh, about like six to eight months uh, maybe a year or probably even less than that since I started using Arch based distros. So right after Pop! OS, I jumped to Manjaro and then I distro hopped many more times to different operating systems, different distros like Elementary OS or even K Kubuntu. Yeah, I used Kubuntu or no, KDE Neon, I think it was. Yeah, so many more Ubuntu based distros. I, I wanted to try out Debian, but it wasn't working with my hardware. Yeah, Arch works, but Debian doesn't. Big surprise. But yeah, so in conclusion, for a first distro, I would definitely recommend you all to use Pop! OS. It's an absolutely fantastic distro and of course, I'm not affiliated with them at all. It's just that I really enjoy System76's products. So yeah, <clears throat> try Pop! OS and let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video if you enjoyed it. And guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.